In part two of setting up logging in with Google, we are ready now, everything's set up, and we can start working on code. But there was one minor detail that I had forgot to set up. So I'm going back to our auth client. To get to this screen, we just went in our linked apps, and there is a link here that takes us here. This callback that it generates is not the correct callback. So we need to change that. And this information is available on api.playfab.com in our sign in with Google tutorial. There is a URL that you need to paste in here. So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to paste it. This is the callback URL that is used when our servers communicate. And now that that is saved, let's dive into some code. So referencing back to our previous examples where we set up Facebook and we set up our other means of authenticating, in our awake function, I also want to start our Google authentication startup. So I'm going to preprocess or directive this as well. I tend to like to do that just so that my example projects don't break if I don't include certain SDKs with them. And so I'm going to go ahead and go underneath other settings and I'm going to add Google Games preprocessor directive. And now I can start to add my code for Google. So I'm going to say if Google games and if, and we need to use a couple of the Google libraries. So using Google play games and using Google play games dot basic API. And in our awake startup sequence, do Google games and if, and here we need to start a builder configuration. So to do that, we're going to play games client configuration config equals new configuration dot builder and then we want to use some of these extension methods add OAuth scope and this is very important that we add the profile OAuth scope request service auth code and Tell it to build and then the next step is play game play games platform that initialize the instance of our config um, and you can turn on debugging if you want so play games platform debug log enabled we can set that to true so we can get some verbose logging. And then the last step is play games platform dot activate. So this is going to activate Google play games so that when you start up your app, it will kind of start the Google play games activating the plugin. It's, it's similar to the Facebook and it, and now uh, we have a button inside of our UI that is login with Google. So I only want to do the login if login with Google has been selected. So to do that, we'll go back to our code, find our button event for logging in with Google. And we want to add some authentication 
using Google. So I'm going to use their social local user authenticate method. And this is going to return to me a, a Boolean that is whether or not it was successful or not. And if it was successful, we will get the server auth code. So var server auth code is equal to play games platform dot instance dot get server auth code. And that should give us the auth code. Now we need to take that auth code and actually send it to PlayFab. And we have not built out our service yet, but we do have means to do that. So we want to, one, set our auth service auth ticket, which is a field that we've been reusing for third-party authentication tickets and save our server auth code there. And then we want to say auth service authenticate auth types Google and now we can flip over to our playfab auth service and inside of our playfab auth service we probably need to actually handle the condition so we didn't actually have any code here so we want to create an a new function here for authenticate Google Play Games. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go down to where my authenticate Facebook code is and create a new function here. So private void authenticate Google Play Games. And in here, we only want to do things if Google Play Games is enabled. So if Google Games and here we want to, we can pretty much copy the same code here in terms of what happens with the result from our previous examples. And we are going to say play fab client API dot log in with Google account and we need a new login with a Google account request and this is where we will paste oops too many commas and we need to pass in the server auth code which is residing in our auth ticket field we need to pass in our title ID, which is play fab settings title ID. We still want to pass our info request params. So equals info request params. And uh, we want to create account equals true. And that should do it. Just making sure that I was doing it consistent. So after we get a successful result, we are going to set the PlayFab ID and our session ticket. Uh, and we're gonna report back to our UI that uh, the login was success. So it can handle that accordingly. And if there's any errors, we're going to send back the error result. So now I should be able to click login with Google and see things working. There are a couple other steps that you should know about under services and API, or I mean in the Google Play Games Play Console. Under your app releases, there's a testing group that you need to add your email address that you're gonna be using to test with to the testers list. 
So uh, I needed to go back and click manage, not edit release, but manage alpha. And under the alpha testing, we're just going to, I'm gonna set it to close the alpha testing and I'm gonna create a list. So testing alpha and I'm going to put marco at playfab.com. Now that I've added my tester, I should be able to test this out.